In this video tutorial, I'll teach you how to clip text with an ellipsis effect. So in this example website, redrocksecure.com slash the gold watch, you may notice it's laid out in a similar CMS format as a blog post. So we have a thumbnail image, we have the title of the blog post, then we have a short description, followed by a read more button, which takes you to the in-depth article slash blog post. What you may notice here is that the blog description is automatically cut off with an ellipsis text, meaning it won't actually read on and on. So right now, if I actually click read more, you'll notice that the text is fully displaying inside the in-depth page. But if we go back, it's being cut off with an ellipsis. And that is what we're going to build in Webflow. So right now in my Webflow project, I currently just have a CMS with blog posts. And you can see that I have a grid layout with just the blog thumbnail, the title, and the description, as well as a read more button. And we're gonna go ahead and put the ellipsis. So I'm gonna make sure that each one of this description is only going to take exactly three lines. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and go to the page settings of that specific blog post grid go into settings, scroll all the way down and just paste in the custom code. I've added it to the comment, so be sure to check it out. But essentially it's just a small line of code. And what we wanna do is we wanna just replace where it says dot target with the name of the class of the blog description. So in my case, it was blog dash text. I'm gonna hit save. And you'll notice right here, if I hit my blog description right here where it's pulling the summary, I've named it blog dash text. So that's what we want to replace. And you may notice nothing actually happens until you actually publish the site. So let's go ahead and publish the site. And once it loads, I can go ahead and just refresh the page. And you'll notice that it's automatically put everything into a eclipse with a three dot. So it just makes everything just more uniform and looks a lot better. You can see everything is nicely standardized. Right here you can see because this title is a bit shorter than the rest, it's wrapping in only one line, resulting in this weird box space in the bottom. What we can do here is we can go ahead and go into the blog card or the div block that's inside the grid, the main one, and go ahead and set the height to 100%. That way this will resolve that issue. And besides that, everything is done. And that's how you add eclipses in text. So right now I refresh the page, everything's aligned. If I go into the read more page, you can see that the summary is still displaying in full. But if you go into that main blog page, it has eclipses. So this is really good for SEO as well. Instead of going into collections and going to settings and going to post summary and adding perhaps a maximum character of 80 characters, you might not want that because you, you definitely want everything to display in the in-depth page. And on top of this, you may want it to have it linked to SEO. So what I mean by this is right now in the blogs collection page, if I go into the settings, you can see it's pulling the title tag from the name of the blog post and the meta description from the post summary. So if you actually add a text limit, it would actually limit the SEO factors. So that's just something to keep in mind. And this is why it's a good idea to use text eclipses. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want more Webflow videos and design videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I'll see you guys there.